what's up guys we're back and as you can tell from today's video um we're gonna be taking the wheels off this neon here it's supposed to rain so i'm gonna try and get this thing pushed out and up on jack stands out here somewhere before the weather hits we're gonna yank these wheels off i went back and forth numerous times um just trying to figure out what wheels i wanted to run on the van and uh trying to stay with the theme of the swap you know i really wanted to run the srt4 wheels on the van but the problem that laid with that is the neon is obviously 5x100 and that year model van is 5x114 so it was either spend like six seven hundred dollars on some you know rep wheels and then put you know another four hundred dollars into tires or get some 5x100 to 5x114 conversion adapters and uh, just put some new tires on these yeah they're probably going to need a fresh coat of paint on them they don't look the greatest they're, they don't really have no curb rash or anything like that on them uh see here yeah this side's pretty good it's got some paint chipping right there but i don't plan to keep them black i'd like to paint them back like a, a factory oem silver you know something like that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna try and get these off now um maybe be able to take them to levi's shop tomorrow and have the new tires put on that way we can uh mount the adapters and the wheels to the van because uh all the tires on this just dry rotted and flat right now so it makes it a real big pain in the ass to move especially with not having the power steering hooked up yet so also the van is just super sketchy to drive and i don't know if that has some with something being left loose i'm not sure i've tightened everything that i could you know imagine would be looser that i messed with during the swap i don't know if it's just the tires or that shitty so i don't know if just the tires mixed with no power steering mixed with the steering wheel being on wrong is just you know it's throwing everything off i'm not sure i don't know if we got an axle length issue but yeah, just one step at a time, I want to get some good tires on there, some good wheels on there, and uh, get the power steering fixed, knock all that out, and uh, see if the van drives a little bit straighter. But I'm going to go ahead and shut up, get these wheels off. We'll probably end up picking up sometime tomorrow, taking the wheels to Levi's shop, and having the tires mounted. Alright y'all, it's the next day, like I said, and uh, if you can see back here, we got all the tires and wheels loaded up, so we're going to start this uh, journey down to Levi's shop, I believe it's about a 45 minute drive or so, so we're going to knock this out and uh, I'll holler at you when we get there. That air smells stale. Yeah. <laughs> Probably gonna paint them afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go get some index cards or something. And I'm sorry. Butter. Shoot, that's why you make the big bucks, bud. <laughs> that's what machines do. Am you replacing them? Why the tip of your knife be broke all the time? <laughs> <He's got ice. laughs> Good knife. It's raw dog to win in dry, bud. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right? These are the new van wheels, first of all. Pop! It's gonna be loud. Yeah, it is. We're gonna put about 100 <laughs> PSI. <laughs> it's gonna be loud. We're gonna put about 100 PSI on this bad boy, see what happens. Bang, bang. Why are you backing up more? I've never seen one do this. Like I don't know if it. Yeah, I don't know if it just. It's like it just slid up into place and didn't make a noise. Come on. Oh, it ain't in place yet. <laughs> we might need to spit on that. And... <laughs> Give it a second. Is it moving? Yeah. Very slowly. I'm watching it. Old girl hops off the machine. I've had that happen before. You're gonna see the cover across <laughs> some legs real quick. <laughs> Give that damn tire some sweet chin music. Bottom of the two wasn't visible just a second ago, and I can see it. Just put more air in it. You oh, know. <laughs> she got about 100 in her right now. Did you lube up the beat? No. Nope. He went in dry. No. Lou makes a mess. She tight. Maybe. Probably sound like Charles Gutt smacking the back of the Vic. Maybe. I have so much air in this tire. <laughs> like, she's pink. <laughs> That's all she got. I don't know if she can keep going. I just don't know how much she Right. We got another one of these in stock. I ain't trying to explode a tire <laughs> in my face today. Tell you die. Come on, go be a punk. You're right there. There it goes. It's popping. A bead stick with two C's. She she got that extra lip to protect the rim. I honestly think that was the uh, what it was binding on, of course, with that lip protector. Mm hmm. Shit. <laughs> I 
right, y'all, we got all the tires mounted and balanced. You can see they're chilling back there. Had a little bit of problems, but uh, you know, overall, they went on okay. Um, but yeah, big shout out to Auto Motion here in Lebanon, Virginia, uh, for hooking me up on this. But uh, we're gonna get back on the road, get back home. We got, like I said, about a 45 minute drive. And uh, see if we can't catch back up with Levi. And maybe get a couple flybys of their cars on the way and uh, go home, eat while it's still early, hit the gym. Might go ahead and throw these wheels on today, if not tomorrow. But uh, either way, it'll still be in this video. I'll see you when we get back to the shop. We caught them. sound like a ka if you want to see a video on that thing soon leave it down in the comments look at that thing Ooh. that's a good looking car bud <laughs> Hey right, y'all, it's the next day. We're back at the shop and we got the neon loaded all up on the trailer. I did have to put the new tires on here to get it on here, but now we're about to take them back off, get the car set on here somehow, somewhat securely, so we can uh, tow it. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be spending uh, most of my time today doing is I'm gonna get these wheels off, the coolovers off, uh, maybe the brakes, I don't know. I just wanna get, uh, get most of the stuff off here that I might want or could sell before we end up scrapping this car. It is a shame that we gotta scrap it, but you know, the frame's bent. Quarter on the other side's a little messed up. You know, I mean, it's nothing that couldn't be fixed, but it's like, eh, I live in Virginia, so anything with a salvage title is a no-go and i really just don't want to go through the process of having to get this thing rebuilt um title wise so uh it's really of no use to me you know the only thing left really good is maybe the glass and the doors but with that being said that is nothing special that that is just neon doors so it's not like you can't find one at any junkyard but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and set this camera down it's hot out here and uh get these wheels off start messing with it and see if we can't get the van in here in a little bit the coolovers off the front end of it here um that's probably all i'm really gonna do with this the back ones uh, i just got too much stuff sitting back here to even try and access those I, I definitely could but they're probably blown they're just race lands and uh at the end of the day maybe they're worth like 50 bucks to somebody they definitely ain't gonna work on the van because the van is a leaf spring but it's just a stock exhaust, so there's nothing to yank off there. Um, I'm not really seeing anything else. I definitely could drop the tank and uh, pull the pump out or the canister itself. Uh, maybe it has a 255 in it. I'm not sure. Probably does, but we'll see. I might mess with that later, but for now, I got the wheels off. And, and believe it or not, I actually touched the van last night. I moved it over here. Got this thing sitting pretty under the carport. Uh, do you want to call it pretty? But here she is looking all janky on these rusty steel wheels. So I'm probably going to grab the jack out from under the front end of the neon and uh, get this thing up in the air and see if we can't get them adapters and these wheels on and see what it looks like. So I got it up in the air and as you can tell, I have a few studs that are broke. So once I get this wheel off, I'm going to try and remove the drum so I can uh, replace those studs. I have already bought them but i don't even know if they're broke it's like they're just missing all together so we'll see uh i've never replaced studs on a drum before so we'll see how i do on that but here are the spacers we got them look like a nice little quality piece we'll see there's a better shot of them so not sure if we'll get any weird vibrations or wobbles or anything like that, but you can see right there, five by four and a half to five by 100. This van is a factory five by 114 lug pattern and uh, the neon wheels are five by 100. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully they don't have like a crazy poke to them, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these off and uh, see what they look like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and test fit them with the three that's there right now. We're not gonna run it like that, but I just wanna see what they look like, see the poke, the offset, all that. But 
but you can see they fit right they go right on and uh, you just take these off you put them on the actual factory stud they thread right on so we ain't got no issues there and uh, we'll snug them up and go from there There's one. That's uh, yeah, that ain't too bad. Just like a fat ass PT Cruiser, really. <laughs> Let's throw this back one on right here and uh, get this thing on the ground and see how it looks. All right, one minor setback with this is uh, I had to take the very, very tip of the uh, studs off with this like not even a thread it was just the tip literally just like one thread off of each stud they was hitting the actual wheel so it wasn't it wasn't seat and flush on there but now as you can see everything is seat and flush all the way around um, I don't think I had that issue on the front I believe the studs are longer in the back on the caravans but yeah, everything looks good, so we're going to go ahead and lower this thing down now and uh, see what it looks like. I just wanted to point that out for any caravan people that wanted to run SRT four wheels on their van, that wanted to do these conversion adapters, you will have to grind down the tips of the studs. So here we go. Ah, this jack's janky. Oof. Let's give her a little push. That's what we're working with right now. Wheel gaps all the shit in the front, as you can tell. Back's not terrible, but that's what we took the neon coolovers off for, so we can see if they'll mount to this knuckle, and then we can work with uh, making a top hat, hit up BC, something like that, and see if they can't make us something for the front. Maybe do like a flip kit in the rear. But other than that, we got SRT four wheels on this caravan, and the offset is still a little bit sunk in, to be honest with you. So we're not too bad off. I figured they'd poke, but these wheels are a super high offset. It's like a plus 44 or something like that. So we're pretty good on that. I wish they poked a little bit more than they do. But just for some street wheels to roll around on, this ain't too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and head on over here to the other side, get it jacked up, and go from there as you can see this tire is completely done we're on rim been on rim for a hot minute so we're gonna have to do something about that all right we got the tips cut off here and uh what i did i put these on first tightened them up took the little tip off all the studs and then backed them off real slow that way it'll clean anything thread wise at the end and uh they're a little warm right now but as you can see, they just spin right on. So we ain't got no issues with that. And uh, we're just going to throw this spacer on right here. And we're good to go. And we can just slowly take these in so they get centered up. It didn't center, so we'll have to loosen this and back up with the hair. Run that in. That's centered now. I ain't going too tight with them yet because I'll probably end up pulling them back off at some point. I don't plan to drive it like this right now. But yeah, that's done. As you can see, all the, uh, the lug nut, or as you can see, all the studs are pretty much flush now with uh, the actual lug nuts. None of them's protruding, so we're good on that. That's the issue. They just protrude just a hair. 
with them little caps. I know y'all can't see it because it's blurry. But that's all you got to nick off just to make it flush. And I got the front one on here, and I'm not sure, but there might be just a tiny... Let me get this to focus for you. There might be just a tiny gap between that hub and that spacer. So it might not can be it might not be flush all the way around. So if we have any issues, I might have to just grind down um, the end of the stud. It's not much at all. But we might have to just shave it down a little bit so it seats flush. I'll check the other side just to be safe. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and lower this side down now. Uh, and I guess we've uh, half-assed successfully put SRT4 wheels on a Dodge Caravan. And there you have it. I hate black wheels, so I'll probably end up painting them because obviously you just, you know, like that, you can't even see the rim. I just don't like having black wheels that blend in. So I'll probably try and match up a factory silver or something like that. Just keep it clean. But, uh, yeah, that's not terrible. Could be better, could be worse. That was definitely the cheapest route I could take, though. So They're kind of fitting for the build, you know, being that it's swapped. She's still in there looking good. Starts up real good. Um, I did put a Optima yellow top in here. See if y'all peep that. Uh, yeah, finally got a battery for that. Super expensive, but my buddy helped me out at O'Reilly. He, he got me a little bit better deal. Uh, I just I'm tired of fooling with batteries using jump boxes and uh, jumping stuff off But yeah, I guess it's probably gonna be it for this video Let me know what you think of the wheel choice like I said I could have went with aftermarket wheels But I wasn't for sure on fitment offset Anything like that. So I really didn't want to spend six seven hundred dollars on wheels Plus another four or five hundred on tires I have all that money in a wheel and tire set up for a caravan that we're, we're not even for sure yet um, how it's gonna do. It's definitely got good wheels and tires now that we can roll it around on, drive it around on. And uh, I plan on ordering a set of, uh, like a drag pack for it, some slicks and skinnies. I just wanna get a few more miles under my belt, make sure everything's good, it tracks straight, drives straight, feels good. And uh, make sure the axles are good in it that we made, that way I can send that measurement off to uh, DSS, get some made for that, that way we're not breaking these. But other than that, I will show you one thing. I'm, uh, I'm going to get this shop cleaned up, or at least this bay right here. That way I can pull it in and get this intercooler set up going on on the van. Uh, finally got all the piping for that. But, as you can see here, we got the heads back from our buddy Hicks at his machine shop. They've been hot tank, and they look brand spanking new on this thing. Got the new clutch set up on here. Um, new head gaskets, obviously. Uh, got all the timing stuff done with it. So as far as I'm aware, we're ready to drop this thing back into the Vic. It will have a little bit uh, bump in compression now. Um, they are PI heads. This is still the 240,000 mile non-PI motor. We just swapped the heads onto it. The thing is, East 10 Drift, our local uh, grassroots drifting event here, um, they, they canceled all their events for the year. So we're pretty much done drifting for the year unless we drive three plus hours to an event. So unfortunately, I'm not saying we're done drifting for the year. It just looks like, uh, you know, we might get one or two more in this year. So instead of just sitting around doing nothing with the Vic, just doing burnouts all the time um, and popping motors for no reason, uh, we're going to be changing this turbo out. It's a good turbo for drifting. It's done as really good. Um, it's just... It's just a little small for what we're wanting to do. It was a great responsive turbo. That way we didn't have too much lag um, sitting there patting around on the drift course. But I think we're going to try and fit a 78, 75 down in there and uh, take this thing drag racing. Do a little bit of racing with it this year and uh, take it around to a couple tracks. See what kind of times we can get with it. Foreshadowing, I have a feeling this clutch is not going to hold. So we'll probably be pulling the trans back out at some point. And taking care of that, but we'll see how it does. We got a nice little drag setup going on here with it. I think Will said he's going to order some skinnies for the front. This looks pretty good. We need some new flares, obviously. That's a quick little update on the Vic. Be on the lookout for that. Um, probably have one up towards the end of the week with this. We'll probably have the motor in tonight and uh, potentially fire it up. So yeah, we'll have a video on the van, the Vic, and, and I actually got another project sitting outside right now that we picked up. 
and uh, I'll probably try and make a video on that this evening. We'll have a little bit more content flowing now. Vic, Vic's been down for a minute with the stuff being at the machine shop, so nothing we could do there. I've been waiting on parts forever with this van. All this COVID stuff going around, shipping's been terrible. And uh, it's kind of just been a lack of events going on, so we ain't really been able to do much. But uh, yeah, like I said, I appreciate y'all for watching. So if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And until next time, peace. I'm done living life with the lights out.